Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I will be swatching my latest gel polish haul which is 24 gel polishes. So the first three I have to show you are from Gelish and they are part of their selfie collection and the first shade is called Best Face Forward. So this is what it looks like after two coats and it's been cured. <clears throat> Once it's actually on the nail pop it's more of a blue and it is a bit brighter in person than what you're seeing in the camera. Next up from their selfie range is me, my selfie and I, which my camera's not focusing, there we go. And it's a really nice coral with shimmer. After two coats, this is what it looks like. And the colour you can see in the camera is pretty much the same. Maybe just a bit brighter in person. Um, it is still quite sheer, which I'm not really happy about. And this one is called Me, My Selfie and I. So the last one I purchased from their selfie collection is called No Filter Needed. And it is almost like um, a sea blue with a touch of green. It's got, from what I can see, it's got no shimmer. So after two coats this is what it looks like and out of these three this is the best one for coverage. So the next colour from Gelish I have is called Your Slay or Mine and it's from their Trends. Um, this was actually in a kit my sister bought me off Facebook so I don't know if they still do this colour, I'm not sure. Um, but it is a chunky glitter polish. So let's go ahead and swatch this one. So after two coats this is the end result, um, nothing too special but it will be nice over, a, over the top of maybe this one, yeah that would look nice. So that one is called Your Slay or Mine. Next up we have another one from their Trends Collection um, by Jellish. And this one's called I'll Make It Fit. I'm not sure why that makes me laugh, but <laughs> um, let's go ahead and swatch this. So after two coats and cure, this is what, uh, what's this one called? I'll Make It Fit. This is what this looks like. Uh, it's not really working for me. I don't really like it to be honest. I don't like the yellow undertone um, Probably Not gonna use this unless a client, you know, really desperately wants it So yeah, that's I'll make it fit Last but not least out of the kit that I received from my sister is this color uh, it doesn't have the colour on the bottom, so I couldn't tell you what colour it is. Um, let's go ahead and swatch it and see what I think. So after two coats and curing, this is the end result. It's a bit more of a yellowy tone. So I've got two more left to show you from Jalish and the penultimate one is called Garden Teal Party and it, as you can see it's um, yeah, really really nice teal colour. So let's go ahead and swatch this one. So 
So after two coats this is what it looks like. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera but there are some parts where it's a more sheer than the rest where it hasn't covered properly and this is not because of my application. I followed their instructions which is two thin coats. So the last polish, gel polish I have from my gelish haul is the Antique Coat and this is from their Trends. So after two coats this is what it looks like and it is quite sheer but it's meant to be so I'm not gonna moan. I then went and applied it to Garden Teal Party, the colour I swatched before this. So this is the original Garden Teal Party and this is Garden Teal Party with their antique top coat from Jellish. I absolutely love it, this is going to be my new favourite kind of craze to do. So next up I have three OPI polishes and I believe these are all from their Fiji collection. Uh, no, two of them are, I think. Pale coconut colour, I suppose. So let's go ahead and swatch this. So I'm just going to show you this on camera, the nice short brush. I love, I'm such a big fan of the short brushes when it comes to gel polish and top coats. It just gives you more control and you don't end up applying too much or too little. It's just enough and it's really easy to get up into the cuticle without flooding it. So after two coats this is what coconuts over OPI looks like, really good coverage. So the next shade we have from OPI is called Don't Bossa Nova Me Around and this is a really really lovely um, nude, pale pink nude, I'll just show you what it looks like out the bottle. So after two coats this is what Don't Bossa Nova Me Around looks like and I'll just compare it next to Coconuts over OPI just so you can see the difference. So it's like strawberry milkshake and chocolate milkshake. So the last one from OPI I'm really excited about and I hope it lives up to my expectations. This is from their Fiji collection and it's called Exotic Birds Do Not Tweet. And as you can see, it is this bright yellow colour. So after two coats, this is what exotic birds do not tweet look like. Looks like even. And I absolutely love it. My new fave, my new favourite gel polish, apart from that antique top coat. So the next colour I have is from Artistic Colour Gloss and this is called Charming. So this is Charming from Artistic Colour Gloss, it is from Gelux and this is called Mink Pebble and their instructions are cure each coat for 30 seconds under a Gelux LED lamp but well, I don't have a Gelux LED lamp so I'm going to cure each layer for 60 seconds in mine So this is Mink Pebble from Gelux and that's how it looks after two coats. Good coverage and a really lovely colour. The next colour is called Hot in Rio and it's a pearlised uh, polish and it's from Gelux. Uh, 
and this is what it looks like in the bottle. I think this is going to be quite a sheer one. Let's go ahead and swatch. So after two coats, this is Hot In Rio from Gelux, their pearlized gel polish. It is still quite sheer, but as you can see it's <coughs> like a fiery orange with um, pink pearlescent. You can't really, it's not showing up too much pink on the camera, but there is quite a lot of pink pearl in it. I like the fact that it's sheer because it could be used the same way as um, the antique top coat from Gelish, so that's really interesting. So next up we have this neon gel from Gelux, and this is called Red Hot Crimson. So this is Red Hot Crimson after its second coat and I've took this colour into different light off camera to see what its true colour is and to be honest I can't give you a definitive answer because it changes colour. So right now on the camera you're seeing a neon red. Um, in person I'm seeing like a hot neon pink colour to show you is from Sensationale and this is their Express Gel. I bought this when I purchased their gel transformer kit. If you'd like to see my review and testing of their gel transformer kit just have a look in the description box below and you'll find the link to that video there. So this shade is called All Day I Rose and don't be fooled by this tag because this is actually a glitter. So this did in fact cure in 30 seconds on each layer. Uh, cured completely without any sticky residue on the top. Um, the only thing I would be careful about is the coverage. Because this is uh, a really thick gel polish, you don't want to be applying this extremely thick, if that makes sense. You're going to quickly bulk up the nail and that's just two coats and you can see already that's getting quite bulky. Um, <coughs> So just be aware of that. However, I do like the fact <coughs> it does cure really quickly. And does a hair there. Okay, so that was called All Day I Rose by Sensation Ale. The last five in my gel polish haul are from ASP, and this is their signature gel polish range. This one is called Galaxy, and it is a silver holographic gel polish. So for this colour, I applied three coats instead of two just to try and build up the glitter and to show you what it's really like. Um, unfortunately it just wasn't, wasn't building up enough and I'm really frustrated because I really really love it. Um, but if anybody has any good recommendations for holographic gel polish then please let me know below because I'm on the lookout. Um, so yeah, that was Galaxy by ASP. Next up we have Stormy Skies, again from ASP. So to start off I thought it was a flat mat, but it's not. It is a shimmer, slight shimmer, and as you can see, it's not taking to my nail pop very well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that. That can go in the bin. 
I'm gonna get another nail pop and I'm gonna pop some um, foundation. Actually, I'll put some structure gel down by Gelish and cure that and then I'll apply the ASP to that to see if that helps. So with the Stormy Skies that I just had an issue with, obviously on the bottle it does say apply bonder and then base coat, which I wasn't doing obviously because it's on a nail pop. So I have applied structure gel to the bottom and for the rest of the polishes that I'm going to show you, I'm just going to buff the nail pops to see if that helps, just so the gel's got something to cling on to and sink into. After two coats, this is what Stormy Skies looks like by ASP. Um, it does cure in 30 seconds with no tacky layer. So the next colour I have for you is called Raindrop and I have buffed this nail pop just so the gel polish has something to kind of sink into but again on their bottles it does say to use their, their prep and their base. This is Raindrop from ASP and that is what it looks like after its second coat. Next up we have Mint Crunch, again from ASP. So let's go ahead and swatch this. After the second coat this is what Mint Crunch looks like from ASP. Lastly in this whole collection is a shade called Mermaid and pay no attention to the colour on the sticker there because it doesn't even reflect what's inside. Second coat is done and this is what Mermaid looks like. I absolutely, absolutely love it. There's so many things you could do with this and I love the fact that it looks like you're looking through water, mermaid water. There we go guys, I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below. It would also mean the world to me if you would click that subscribe button. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this, just let me know and we can definitely do some more swatches together and first impressions. I can't wait to start using these polishes on some different designs. See you all again in the next video. Bye!